Hi, I'm your host, Anne. With me today is my co-host, Albert. Welcome to this presentation of Day Talk. Today we will discuss an interesting drug. Thank you, Anne. We will be covering a variety of topics. We would like to thank the USAC Pan Graduate School of Nurse Anesthesia for sponsoring this segment. Our focus will be on the drug. Nimbex. Nimbex. Or Cisatracurium. A non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking drug that interacts with the nicotinic receptors to prevent the binding of acetylcholine. This drug will be one of your primary neuromuscular blocking agents on top of your cart. Let's look at a PowerPoint animation that represents a normally operating neuromuscular junction. Notice that after the neuron fires and releases acetylcholine into the neuromuscular junction, the receptor requires two molecules of acetylcholine for activation. That's right, Albert. Remember, the receptor is experiencing a conformational change when activated by the acetylcholine molecules. Let's take a look at that slide again. Now let's take a look at what happens when you introduce Nimbex through your patient's intravenous line. The next slide will illustrate the introduction of the neuromuscular blocking agent, Nimbex. Cisatracurium produces good intubating conditions following a dose of 0.1 to 0.15 mg per kilogram within 2 to 5 minutes, and results in muscle blockade of intermediate duration. The average infusion rate ranges from 1.0 to 2.0 mg per kilogram per minute. Thus, it is equally as potent as vicuronium and more potent than atracurium. That's right, Anne. The typical onset of Nimbex is 3 to 5 minutes. The peak effect is also seen within 3 to 5 minutes. Cisitracurium has a clinical duration, or T1 half alpha, of neuromuscular blockade lasting 20 to 35 minutes. In the upcoming slide, you will see one molecule of Nimbex introduced into the neuromuscular junction. The one molecule will attach to the receptor, preventing a conformational change. Even when acetylcholine is released. Let's take a look at that slide. So, what you've seen is that a molecule of Nimbex will attach to a cholinergic receptor. On the motor end plate. To antagonize the action of acetylcholine resulting in block of neuromuscular transmission. This action is antagonized by acetylcholine esterase inhibitors, such as neostigmin. Nimbix binds competitively to the cholinergic receptors on the motor end plate. With an elimination half-life, T1 half-beta, of 22 minutes, a plasma clearance, CL, of 4.57 milliliters per minute per kilograms, and a volume of distribution at steady state, VSS, of 145 milliliters per kilogram, Cisatracurium undergoes organ-independent Hoffman elimination, a chemical process dependent on pH and temperature, to form the monoquaternary acrylate metabolite and lodenosine, neither of which has any neuromuscular blocking activity. Let's take another look at that last slide. Remember, Nimbux is a competitive blocker. Reversing the blockade requires time, Hoffman elimination, and the use of acetylcholine esterase inhibitors, such as neostigmin. And, I do believe that we covered a few good topics such as the mechanism of action, the dosage, typical onset, and peak effect. Can you think of some other topics we've covered? Sure, Albert. We discussed the clinical duration, T1 half alpha, of about 20 to 35 minutes, and elimination half life, T1 half beta, of about 22 minutes. Also, we discussed that Nimbex is eliminated from the body through the Hoffman process. Right. Some interesting pearls of information regarding Nimbex. 
The aminoglycoside antibiotics are prominent among those antibiotics that enhance the effects of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking drugs. Antagonism of antibiotic potentiated neuromuscular blockade by an anticholinesterase drug or calcium is unpredictable. Interesting to note that the penicillins and cephalosporins are antibiotics devoid of neuromuscular blocking effects. Cisatracurium does not have significant vagolytic or ganglion blocking properties. Consequently, Nimbex has no clinically significant effect on heart rate and will not counteract the bradycardia produced by many anesthetic agents or bivagal stimulation during surgery. Patients with myasthenia gravis and other forms of neuromuscular disease have shown greatly increased sensitivity to non-depolarizing blocking agents. An initial dose of not more than 0.02 mg per kilogram of Nimbex is recommended in these patients. Nimbex is contraindicated in patients known to be hypersensitive to cisatracurium, atracurium, or benzenazelfonic acid.